Hey guys, this entire video is going to be dedicated to the Killer Perk Whispers. If you don't know what this perk is, it's a non-teachable killer perk that lights up and makes whispering sounds when a survivor is within 32 meters of you as a killer. This perk continues to work on a survivor as long as they're still alive and doesn't stop activating until their icon is replaced with a skull or a disconnect symbol on the bottom left. Whispers is kind of an interesting perk because it's one of the strongest killer perks in the game, but it's also completely useless if you don't know how to use it. Getting good with Whispers takes time, but once you master it, it can benefit you on literally every single killer and makes it much easier to be time efficient when killing. Okay, there are two basic ways to use Whispers. The first, and the easiest way, is by keeping an eye on the Whispers icon to know where there's definitely not survivors. For instance, if you're patrolling generators and you find one that's worked on, but Whispers isn't going off, you know for sure that there's no survivors nearby and you can save all the time that you might waste looking for them. This might not seem like a huge deal, but Killer is all about time efficiency and spending 15 to 20 seconds looking for someone that isn't there can be detrimental to your map pressure, can even cost you a game at high ranks. Making sure that you're consistently finding and chasing survivors is one of the best ways to keep them off of generators. Okay, the other way to use Whispers is to help you figure out where a survivor actually is. Because Whispers has a range of 32 meters, you could use this to get a pretty damn good idea of where a survivor is hiding if you know what you're doing. The general idea is to watch for what Whispers turns on, and then you know that they're exactly 32 meters away from that exact spot. As you play, you'll start to get more of a feel of how far exactly 32 meters is. Let's take a look and break down how Whispers was actually used in this clip. So you can see, I'm wandering around without Whispers being activated. I move forward and it turns on. When this happens, you can be 100% sure that the survivor is exactly 32 meters in a semicircle in front of you. The reason for this is because Whispers detects 32 meters all around you. When moving forward, you've already been in the semicircle area behind you, meaning you can completely rule that out. This leaves just a small area in front of you. In this situation, you know that the second the Whispers activates, the survivor has to be somewhere at the edge of the circle 32 meters in front of you. Now obviously the time it takes to actually move the 32 meters as killer gives them some time to move as well, so you can never be 100% sure. But a hiding survivor usually won't go very far and you can patrol the outer rim of the circle to find them. Again, this takes some practice as being able to mentally judge how far 32 meters is comes with a lot of practice with the perk. On top of this, you can actually further cut down the possible areas for the survivor to be in if you know what you're doing. If you're confident the person you're looking for isn't moving, or if you're searching for the last survivor while they're downed and bleeding, you can wait until the very second that Whispers clicks on, and then move side to side and keep an eye on the perk. Depending on which direction makes the perk turn off, you can use that information to cut off even more possibilities of where the survivor can be. If moving left turns off Whispers, then you know that they cannot be in the left half of the area, and the same can be said about moving right turning off Whispers as well. This even further reduces the amount of space that you need to search and makes finding people even easier still. Keep in mind once again that the entire time that you're doing this, the survivors can be changing positions, so this only works if you're sure the survivor isn't moving much and if you're able to do this technique quickly. This is extremely useful when there's only one survivor left and they seem to just be hiding somewhere obscure, or when the last survivor is down and bleeding out and you lost track of where they are. And that's pretty much it for Whispers. This perk is in my opinion the best overall killer perk and helps a lot with keeping up pressure and saving yourself time. Take the time to learn to use this perk effectively and you'll end up a lot better off in the long run. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to sub to the channel for more similar stuff, and thank you everybody for stopping by and watching. Have a good one. I'll see you. I'll see you later. I'll see you. I'll see you.